Hello, everybody. This is Christopher with Sundance Marine Miami. Today, we are talking about recreational boating and radar. A lot of my customers ask me whether they should have radar installed on their boat or if they need radar as an option. And there's a lot of different use cases for radar. And there's a lot of situations where something called FLIR might be a better option for recreational boaters here in South Florida. So today we're gonna discuss what radar does and we're gonna discuss what FLIR does and whether you may need one, the other, or both on your boat. So I'm on board a beautiful Regal 36 XO that we're preparing for delivery right now. And behind me, you'll see a dome that says Garmin on it, and that is radar. And next to it, you'll see what looks like a small video camera, and that is FLIR. So first, let's talk about radar. So radar is an acronym. It stands for Radio Detection and Ranging. And radar sends out radio signals and essentially detects when those radar signals are bounced back or radio signals are bounced back from objects. And it creates those colored blobs you see on a screen. So all of us are familiar with weather radar that we see when we're watching a weather forecast. And this radar works the exact same way. That radar is detecting weather. This radar is detecting everything around your boat from weather to objects, to navigation buoys, to even a small person floating in the water depending on the resolution of the radar. So what does radar do? Radar projects an image on a screen that is based on those radar signals coming back to the antenna. And it creates, just like you see on weather radar, those colored blobs. And it can be a little confusing. Um, it takes some practice to understand what you're seeing on a radar screen and really understand how to use radar to its maximum effect. Some advantages of radar are it works in every condition. Darkness, fog, rain, just about any kind of conditions you may encounter when boating, radar can be an advantage. And we're gonna flash some screens on here. We're gonna show you what a radar image looks like. We're also gonna show you how on one of these newer systems overlays the radar image with an actual navigation chart. So if you're navigating close to land, you can confirm, okay, those radar reflections that I'm seeing are the land or objects such as navigation buoys that are reflected on my navigational chart. And radar is a very powerful tool. It can be used close in for a mile or two or less, or it can see out 50, 60 miles to see other vessels and other objects far away from you, islands, etc. So radar is a very powerful tool. But it can be a little confusing, and it takes some time to understand how to use it to maximum effect. In Florida, we don't have a lot of fog. So most of the adverse conditions that people are boating in are either nighttime or reduced visibility due to rain or other weather conditions. In many conditions that you would encounter in South Florida boating, FLIR, which is that little camera next to the radar dome, is probably a better option. So FLIR is also an acronym. It stands for Forward Looking Infrared. And what a FLIR system does is it detects the smallest amount of heat coming off any object on the water. And every object on the water has an, a signature of heat, a heat signature. Even a block of ice, not something you're gonna encounter in Florida, but even a block of ice has a heat signature. So a FLIR camera, and we're, again, we're gonna show you some, some screenshots of what that looks like, essentially takes infrared light and converts it into a visual image. So it's similar to night vision that you may have seen in the movies, um, but it works much better than night vision. And it works whether there is different light sources, for example, you're coming into an inlet where there's bright light sources all around. Um, FLIR really takes all of the information for every single object around you in the water that the camera is pointed towards and converts it into a visual image. So we're gonna show you a screenshot of that as well. And I would make the case that in most South Florida recreational boating, FLIR, forward-looking infrared, which is also a brand name of a company that makes this camera, FLIR, FLIR is a better option because it takes the recreational boater and lets them see a visual image in pitch blackness uh, in most weather conditions um, and in just about any conditions. So either with the bright lights in the background, complete darkness, uh, 
limited light, so it, just after sunset. So FLIR, as you can see from the screenshot here, takes all the heat signatures and converts it into a visual image in a very easy, user-friendly way. So radar has a learning curve, understanding what you're seeing, why you're seeing it, what it looks like. FLIR is just like seeing a visual image regardless of conditions, except one. The biggest challenge to FLIR is fog. And we don't typically encounter fog here in South Florida very often, which is why I say that FLIR is often a better, uh, a better tool for the South Florida recreational boater. Now, as you can see, this particular Regal 36XO has both radar and FLIR. So you're set up for everything. Um, but it's important to know which tool to use. If you're gonna select one of the two, which one is gonna be best suited for your needs as a recreational boater. Um, and I would say for most users in most conditions, FLIR is a better option. Now, there are some exceptions. Fog, radar works much better in fog than FLIR does. All those water droplets uh, disperse the heat signature of objects, make it hard for FLIR to work in fog. Also, radar works to a much longer distance. Like I said, you can see out 50, 60 miles with a good radar system, uh, whereas FLIR, you might be able to see a couple of miles. Um, so if you are looking for bird, flocks of birds feeding offshore to, to find good fishing spots, radar is going to be a much better solution. However, if you're navigating inlets in dark conditions or cruising to the Bahamas and finding channel markers in dark conditions, I would argue that FLIR is even a better bet. So that's just a, a little opinion as to which is best suited for South Florida recreational boating. They're both excellent tools. They both do very unique things and work in different conditions. But for most recreational boaters, I would argue that a FLIR system is your best solution. I'm Chris with Sundance Marine Miami. If I can be of assistance with any kind of technolo technological questions, uh, use questions, or any other boating issues, or helping you buy a gorgeous new boat, please call 561-285-1212. Thank you for watching.